Good morning, superstars. Today I'm recording your read aloud. I hope you're up and awake. Um, I will have to show you a little bit. My little dog chewed the corner of my book. My brand new book Mrs. Halliday gave me. Naughty little bit. The truth about crocodiles. It's quite a tail. <laughs> you see they, how they spell tail? Look that up. That tail there means this tail, not tail like a story tale. Did you know that crocs often keep rocks in their stomachs to help them stay underwater longer? Did you know that baby crocs make sounds similar to kittens when they hatch? Did you know that crocs have a lot of teeth but don't actually chew their food? Impress your friends and your teacher with these facts and many more from this hilarious and information-packed book. Does your teacher like to swim? Oh no, that don't sound good. We're silent hunters. The truth about crocodiles. Vroom. Most of the time. Uh-oh. These are crocodiles. Crocodilians. Oh, crocodilians. Some people call all of them crocodiles. We'll call them crocs. Crocs in socks, but why? What's with the hat? It's my birthday. Crocs can be found in tropical and subtropical wetlands, rivers, ponds, lakes, and coastlines all across the world. Guys, what kind of nonfiction book is this? Is it expository? Is it narrative? It's not a biography. Do you know? These are three croc families. Families. Here's how to tell them apart. Crocodiles, habitat, salt water and fresh water, wetlands, rivers, lakes, and coast, alligators in caimans, habitat, fresh water, wetlands, streams, rivers, and lakes. The Gariol, Gariol, there's a pronunciation chart. Habitat, large rivers in Southeast Asia. Within the three families, there are at least 23 different croc species. Think of the teeth. Top and bottom teeth visible in mouth for the crocodiles. And let's keep it closed, Buster. Pointy snout for the crocodiles. Okay, for alligators and caimans, it says only top teeth visible with mouth closed. I don't like to show off rounded snout. And for the gharial, you can tell it's me by my bubbly personality. Long, narrow snout for catching fish. Look how long and narrow it is. See you later. There goes Mr. Fishy, he's swimming away. All crocs are reptiles like turtles, snakes, and lizards. Reptile, check in progress. Cold-blooded, check. Backbone, check. Armored skin, check. Cold-blooded animals don't burn energy to stay warm like humans do. Instead, they depend on the warmth of the water, air, and ground around them. Is this really necessary? Breathes air with lungs, check. Usually has four legs, check. Lays eggs with hard tail shells, check please. Crocs may actually be more closely related to birds than they are to other reptiles. This feels all right. I don't know, would you get in his mouth right now? Mm, I don't think I would. Crocs can walk and run on land, but they're most at home in the water. Powerful tail for swimming, 
This is the Australian freshwater croc. Web hind feet for steering. Crocs often keep small rocks in their stomachs. One theory is that it allows them to keep more air in their lungs without floating, and so they can stay underwater for longer. My dentist is furious. They can hear, see, and breathe above water while floating. Ears, eyes, nostrils, someone's nose is whistling. Crocs can rest underwater for hours. Uh-oh. And I have to apologize right now. Little bit is playing with a bowl. Some female crocs lay eggs in mounds built out of grass, leaves, and mud. The mother lays them at night and then covers them up using her hind feet or a shovel if it's handy. Do they really have a shovel? I don't think so. I must sit on my eggs. Other crocs simply bury their eggs in a hole in the sand. You see them down here in the sand? Thanks, Mom. Many creatures enjoy a tasty croc egg, so the mother may guard the mound until the eggs hatch two to three months later. May I help you? Uh-oh. Who put these in my hands? Look, Mr. Raccoon's trying to be innocent. Female crocs may lay from five to more than 80 eggs. Is that a lot? Look, he's asking the chicken. When baby crocs are ready to hatch, they make meow sounds like kittens until their mother digs them out. Did somebody say kittens? It's my birthday too. Meow, 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 burnt. We should have a party with a pinata. Can you answer a few questions? Do you guys wanna have a party with baby crocs? American alligator hatchling, six to eight inches long. You could actually measure that out to see how long they are. The mother will then carry them in her mouth to a safe place in the water. She may watch over them for almost two years. Please don't sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Please don't sneeze. A baby croc often weighs as little as a stick of butter. Do you guys have a stick of butter? That's how much a baby croc weighs. Mmm, butter kittens. Uh-oh. Do any of you have cats? You may want to tell them to hide during this story. They may start life small, but some crocs grow large. Saltwater crocodile. Crocodilius porosus, 20 feet long, 2,200 pounds. Wow, 20 feet long. Habitat, rivers, wetlands, lakes, and coast of Southeast Asia, North Australia, and Southeast Pacific Islands. Tasty menu. Mm. Uh-oh, here comes the diets. This is their menu. And large crocs need lots of food. Croc diets include wild wildebeest, zebras, buffaloes, rodents, frogs, possums, seabirds, snakes, humans. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Humans? Uh-oh, stay out of the way. Lions, lizards, turtles, fishes, herons, monkeys, geese, Porcupines, cattle, cows, dogs, cats, rabbits, pigs, crabs, other crocs, armadillos, clams, hippos, deer, bats, seabirds. What's that next to the snakes? The smallest crocs are the Cuvier's dwarf caiman and the American dwarf crocodile. Both reach about five feet in length. It's not a competition. Five feet in length? That means they're as long as your teacher is tall. Oh no. 
Hunting takes patience. Crocs will float silently like a log, watching for an animal to approach the water's edge. What's the holdup? Some crocs put sticks on their snouts to attract birds building nests. Ah, uh, this bird's saying, no, thank you. <clears throat> Free sticks. They wait and 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 wait until three, four, five, four, three, two. We'll hang the pinata there. Great spot, armored skin. We'll see. Oh no, tell her to go another way. Watch out. Whoosh. The croc, powered by its muscular tail, burst out of the water with his jaws open. Crocs have the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. That can't be right. Ha ha! I think we're seabirds. Mama! My clipboard! Ah! And there goes the pinata. So much for pinata. Crocs have lots of teeth but they don't actually chew. Instead, the teeth grip the prey while the croc rolls wildly and whips its head around to tear the food into pieces it can swallow. And guys, they'll roll and roll and roll. They sometimes even swallow their prey whole. Candy, cool. A large Nile crocodile can swallow an entire impala. Oh, I don't think it's so cool for the impala, do you? Once inside the croc's stomach, acid breaks down the meal. Bones, beaks, claws, quills, feathers, fur, and all. Ooh, I don't think I'd eat that. What about candy wrappers? Sorry, ma'am. And clipboards. Many crocs are dangerous but there are ways to avoid being a pinata when traveling in croc country. Tsk, tsk. Croc country no-nos. Swimming in known croc terry. T well, let me try that again, reread. Swimming in known croc territory. No, don't do it guys, don't do it. Crocodile saying jackpot. Traveling in small or unsafe boats. No. Don't do it. We're, we sprung a link. Crunch, crunch. He ate the boat. Camping next to the water. No, don't do it. I hear drooling. Look at them all. They're waiting to get them. Having food near the water. No, no food near the water. The cake is ready. Feeding approaching or annoying crocs. Uh, definite. No, no. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to... This is definitely annoying. Although crocs may be dangerous one-on-one, -on -one, they face many threats from humans as a species especially hunting, habitat loss, and pollution. Does it have to be all three? So we need to take care of their environments also. But you can help by reading about crocs and then teaching others because crocs are magnificent animals. And because it's my birthday wish. Wow, thanks, Mrs. G. World Croc Ranges. Look, here we have a map that shows all the world croc ranges. Field of Vision talks about the croc feet, front five toes, unwebbed or partially webbed, claws on three inner toes, back four toes, webbed, claws on three inner toes. Their field of vision is 270 degrees. Note, a caiman may live 30 to 40 years. An alligator may live 40 to 50 years. A saltwater croc may live 70 years. American and Chinese alligators often rest in underground dens 
in the winter. Found noisemaker. Inside the egg. Look, you can see the baby croc in the egg. Sodable vibrations, SAVs. Special calls that travel for, far underwater. So low pitch that humans can't hear them. Makes water dance over the alligator's back. See how the water's dancing over the alligator's back? This is American alligator. Further research, you can look at dwarf crocodile size books and saltwater crocodile size books. Uh-oh, remember that birthday cake? But what's Mr. Crocodile thinking about when he goes to eat it? Be sure to be careful where you go and follow the rules. I hope you learned a lot with this book about crocodiles. Have an awesome day.